meets Talaromyces monephii, native to Southeast Asia. Talaromyces monephii is found in the soil where it is harmless. At room temperature, it grows in light grey-green colonies which exude a red pigment. This form is known as a mycelium, where the structure of the colony is made up of tube-shaped cells called hyphae. However, higher temperatures cause a darker side to be unleashed. At 37 degrees Celsius, colonies are hairless, colourless and smooth. In this form, known as the yeast form, the fungal cells exist unicellularly. These cells quickly divide by a fission. This change in growth form is known as a dimorphic switch. In its yeast form, Tyleromyces manephii can be inhaled as dormant spores and can cause infections in humans. Unfortunately, the biological mechanisms of these infections are currently poorly understood. Symptoms include fever, cough, swollen lymph nodes and difficulty breathing. It is mainly a threat to individuals with pre-existing conditions that affect immunity, such as HIV AIDS or cancer, although the proportion of healthy individuals contracting an infection has risen in recent years. These factors currently make it one of the most ten feared fungi in the world. But Tyleromyces manephii is not the only fungus which undergoes dimorphic switching. This Jekyll and Hyde pattern is seen in many pathogenic fungus species, including Histoplasma capsulatum, Sporophryx schenkii, and Cochioides imitis, all of which cause infections in humans. Understanding this phenomenon is therefore essential to protect public health. So what are scientists doing about this? Research is underway to answer some key questions about dimorphic switching. Questions include, where does the mycelium form exist in the environment? How do the fungi detect changes in temperature? How can we prevent dimorphic switching from the mycelium form to the yeast form to treat the disease? The good news is that in the last 60 years, over 700 research papers have been published on Tyleromyces monephii. Since 2000, a number of genes that affect dimorphic switching have been identified. Although we don't have a general overview of molecular mechanisms yet, these discoveries will help save lives from fungal diseases in the future.